Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Auto Tutorials. My name is Lydia and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can convert your air particles to mesh and then to curve. So, let's get started. <music> So this is the character we'll be using for this um, tutorial. Obviously, you need a character or a particle in your scene, so make sure it's selected. And as you can see, I have a particle system here. So to convert to mesh, what you need to do is go to the modifier tab. Under the particles, you see convert. So by converting this, you have a mesh. So let me put this aside. So with this now, I can go to edit mode so you can see this this mesh is quite dense so we have over 400 vertices in just this mesh so before you convert to mesh make sure you have the right resolution so i'll go back to the particle settings under viewport display i'm going to change this from eight to four so i'm going to change this to four and if you want if this the number of children is okay you can leave it and here you can change the total number of children let me change this to 30. so with these settings i can go back to the modifier tab and click on convert so now if i go to edit mode we have we've reduced it from 400 thousand for over 400 thousand to 17 thousand so that's a huge a huge reduction so let me delete this so with this now we have a mesh now to convert to curves so you can't convert from a particle directly to curve you just convert from a particle to mesh and then if you need the curve you convert the mesh to curve so with this selected to convert this to curve i'll go to objects convert to curve from mesh so with this now i can now go to the object data and change this to and change the depth so right now yeah it's not showing so if i increase the depth you see the thickness of the air so if you don't want this air particle let's hide this air particle so i'll hide this then i will set this back out g to set it back to where it was so i can work on the thickness of this and reduce it okay i can reduce the resolution and you can also use another curve to drive the shape of this a this new a so you can now assign a new material to this let me give it a pink pink a let me increase the thickness yeah so with this you have a pink air i can add a subdivision modifier so it's quite clean and fast and that's it for this video thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you've not done so make sure you like this video click on the notification bell to get notified anytime we upload new videos like this and uh, until next time stay true to your creativity bye bye